let's talk about Loki. Subscribe if you have not, I would appreciate that. I sometimes do movie or like, you know, show reviews on my channel. Loki season two is actually really good. Its biggest flaw is the fact that the show takes place in the MCU. Spoilers, by the way. It would have been a, like a great story, like a really great story overall. But the fact that it's in the MCU makes it like much more confusing because, you know, it's time travel stuff. They're dealing with all these timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly stuff. Like a big ball of wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff that you you start to lose track of like what's actually real and like what's not real loki at some point actually literally like learns how to time travel he travels to like previous episodes my only thought during like the actual time traveling sequences of him time traveling is like does this mess with like the timeline at some point like if he goes back does it affect the future now or like he, he can just move across freely and there's like no consequence to him like time traveling at any point another bad thing is the weird side plot uh with the cappy character the, the little little cartoon character and it's just dropped on us that she's like in love with uh kang or you know whatever kang the conqueror variant there is he who remains they just dropped this on us like halfway through the season and it's also dropped that same episode so we like we barely hear about it again it should have at least been like a big enough presence in the first season to like actually like stay in my mind as i watched the second season but to my knowledge i had no idea that she felt that way towards the one who remains after that the first like half of the season was kind of mid like it's, it's a whole lot of nothing and it really picks up when loki learns how to time travel that episode in particular is actually like really good and when loki learns how to time travel he pops back to that one moment where like he had to fix everything and it just ends and for me that was like a good like hook right like, i was like whoa he just mastered this skill things are gonna change and the episode just cuts i was watching one episode like a day but then this episode came out and i was and i binged the rest of the series it's like two or three episodes after that but you get what i mean right it was like a good ending they also kind of fumbled it a little bit because at some point after loki has been time traveling for like a good while now he's like okay obi which is you know one of the, the characters and he's like obi how long would it take me to learn all the knowledge that you have that you know and obi's like oh yeah like two trillion years and loki is just like okay back he knows everything i might be honest i was kind of lazy right you could have at least like shown like a montage of like him like time traveling back and forth right time lapsed of hundreds thousands of different timelines of just him like doing like something like really fast to show us that he actually put into the work to learn everything that obi knows and then we come back to like right now when he finishes learning everything that he needs to know i was interested to see how they would fix the ending loki just steps out into the irradiated doorway and then like you know walks onto the platform that they've been saying is like super deadly and you need to wear this suit but Loki just says, nah, I'm okay. And then he just like walks out there like. <laughs> it's kind of confusing for me. Like how, how was he able to just go out there and just be alive? I guess he just can. Then he like uses his powers to save all of time and just becomes the God of time, which is notably like one of the very few times where like he actually uses his powers. I'm gonna be honest, the fact that Loki's like a Norse god doesn't actually matter in this series, but they just forget about it. They just barely ever use it. They said, okay, we need to we need to integrate his his actual character into the ending. And that brings me back to the fact that this show still takes place in the MCU. If this show didn't take place in the MCU and like Loki was just like a character, like a normal dude from Earth, and that just happened to be transported into this uh, TVA universe, like that would have actually been pretty interesting. I wrote down like a little hypothetical here, like, so bear with me. My version of the Loki timeline would be, Loki is a father, a family man, but he's also in the mafia. He's like a very bad dude. He's committed to this life of crime. And there's like this whole theme about like uh, destiny and all that stuff. But at some point he wants a better life for his children. And so he tries to get out of this life of crime. People say he can't do that. He is like destined for this kind of future. This is who he is. He eventually takes a step forward to get out of this life of crime. And then the TVA comes and says, hey, you can't do that. And then the series just continues as normal. Obviously some variants that we see are gonna have to be slightly different, but we get the picture here, right? I just crept that out in like five minutes, okay? Um, honestly, 8.5 out of 10, I would watch it again. Subscribe, please, I would, I would appreciate it.